All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Here's Salsa. Very excited. She looks absolutely thrilled. We've been battling a wasp nest out here. Oh, there you go. All morning. So hopefully, uh, I sprayed it. Hopefully, it'll, well, yeah, it's behind a screen door, but yeah. Uh, but aside from that, it is community yard sale day. Should be a fun adventure. Uh, last year, this community didn't have the sale because of rain, I believe, or they had it, and only like three or four houses had a had a had a sale. Uh, but today should be a little bit different. It did rain last night, so that's kind of unfortunate, but still very very hopeful. Let's get out there, try to find some treasure. Who knows what we'll find, and make it another fun episode. Garage sales, community yard sales. Let's do it. Never rain on a garage sale. Never. <laughs> it always seems to work out that way. Some boosters. Beach Boys. Right, so we got, got four, I need five. Christmas Day, Bobby Brown. here. This stuff's usually really expensive, but this stuff is shot. I mean, you got your jock strap and everything in here. Holy moly. West of best. These are these. 11. score here. invention.
price is right. I mean, it's worth it for the candy if you like candy, but I'm going to grab this. I'm not going to look it up. I don't, it's probably not worth much. It's an older one. Sometimes chalk is worth a lot of money. I saw a video on YouTube about chalk and how some was like in real desire and then they were selling for like $20 just a stick. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was made in Japan, but for a quarter, I don't think we can go wrong here. Hello, how much are the hats? Ten cents. Ten cents. Yeah, make a pile, make a pile. Now when all the foam's all shot on it. Oh jeez, this one's gonna be a problem. Oh there we go. Try to get to a dollar. some flashbacks. Cool. All right, so we got here. We got one, two, three, four, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, this one was broken. Fifteen. 16. Uh, that's, I think, enough. 17. I don't really need these. I'm waiting for someone else. I'm just buying hats now just to buy hats. Alright. I'll take that too. <laughs> gotta grab that Enron. That's a cool one. Alright, so I gotta count again. All right, so another fun day of treasure hunting in the books. Lots and lots of fun. I ended up picking up three flats here of silver plate. This, I'm not sure if this is actually silver plate. It is marked. Um, a lot of this stuff is marked Rogers. This one is Simeon and George H. Rogers Company. And... Uh, that's about all I can read on that. But it seems like they're all marked in this box... Yeah. So I don't know. I don't think this is actually sterling because I think it would be marked sterling. I don't think it's silver because I think it would be marked silver. But who knows? I'll put that aside. I know this other stuff is just silver plate, but $10 for all of it. This is W.M. Rogers, which is very, very common. A couple boxes of that. So that was a good score. I ended up picking up, I don't think these are, these are, what, quill? They're not roosters. Why do I think they're roosters? You know, whatever you want them to be. They could even be a peacock. Not at all. But I thought these were kind of neat. They were marked Japan, so I paid five bucks for the pair. Um, this is kind of a sore subject, but I got all these uh, CDs. So you got Tony Braxton, got Beach Boys, which I pretty much grew up on. Remember this in the car all the way, wherever we went. Always listen to the Beach Boys. Probably my favorite album that they have. This one is the Eagles. 
a Michael Jackson and a little ZZ Top. Tony Braxton is a sore subject, and the reason why I say that is because if you guys don't remember, I bought a whole collection of snapback hats. In that collection, or at that sale, were a ton of sports jerseys, vintage t-shirts. I don't think there was any sneakers. There were some toys, um, but lots of vintage t-shirts. And I thought, well, there was a t-shirt there that was Tony Braxton, um, and it was a, I think they're called bootlegs. Anyway, uh... I ended up not buying any of the clothes. The guy wanted $5,000 for everything. He probably would have went down to $4,500, but you weren't going to get everything for $4,000 or less. Uh, so at $4,000, that was a lot of money to shell out. You know, yeah, there might have been six, dollars $7,000 in resale value there, but once you start factoring your fees and times, it wasn't worth my time. However, there was one Tony Braxton bootleg shirt there, and I thought it was a reprint and said it was a bootleg, and... Uh, I probably could have bought it for like 15 or 20 bucks for one t-shirt, and it's like a $300 t-shirt. But so whenever I see Tony Braxton, I always think of that because I'm like, you know, what do you know? Uh, other than that, I got this old jar here for 50 cents. This guy who had this had a lot of nice vintage antique stuff. I don't know if he's a dealer. I bought a ton of hockey jerseys off him three years ago. Uh, you guys might remember that video. That's back in my earlier days. Got this little... I don't know what you're even smoking. This thing's tiny. 50 cents. I end up picking up all these mason jar lids because they are very unusual. All right. There was one in here I have never seen before. And that is this. I guess it goes, maybe it goes, there you go. It goes like that. Hopefully you can see this embossing on it. Yeah, you can see it. It's got the Hazel Atlas logo. Isn't that awesome? I've never seen one that has the Hazel Atlas logo on it. We have another one in here that has the, I think it just says Atlas. Yeah, it just says Atlas on it. These are a little bit more common, but I've never seen this one, so I had to buy it. I'll add to my mason jar collection. What else did I grab? Oh, lately, I actually went ahead and bought this. I don't need any more blades now, but I paid $20 for this uh, Sawzall. And although I probably won't even get five bucks for the Sawzall itself, there's probably about $40 in blades here. So you got all these metal cutting blades. You got a three pack there. This one looks like an eight pack. Uh, I don't know what the prices of these in the, or there's a five pack. I'd like to say this is like $15, maybe $20 for this. This is a five pack and that was your three pack. So you got about, you got a, a pruning one and a bunch of brand new DeWalt ones. You probably got about $40, $45 there. And with all the metal that I do, all the scrapping I do, I definitely needed that. Um, but now I'm set, I'm set for a very long time. I won't need uh, Solzol blades for probably a couple of years, to be honest. Got chalk, still didn't look that up. And then all these hats here, which were 10 cents a piece, Run through them pretty quickly. Don't really know much about that. This brought back memories because <laughs> I used to play Cash Vibe, and that was the only lotto that I ever played. Uh, we have Camel, and these are just common ones. We have an Auto Wrecking Pipeline Company. This is another cigarette brand. Got another Corduroy. It's out of Delaware. It's a builder company. Got another cigarette, Newport. Another cigarette, another cigarette. These things used to pop up everywhere. This might be all right. I think, no, wait, I thought this was Cat, like Caterpillar, the uh, construction company, construction tractor uh, equipment company. It's not, it says Cap. Pocono Boxing Team. Lucky Street Greyhound. And this is, uh, <laughs> I don't not sure if this is worth anything, but an Enron hat. Don't come across a lot of Enron stuff anymore. That was a whole disaster in itself. If you guys don't know about the whole stocks with Enron, huge fraud thing. Learn about it in college. Don't remember any of it. Just remember Enron really messed up there. And yeah, 
Uh, but aside from that, another fun day of treasure hunting. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yet another fun episode. If you guys enjoyed the video, smack the like button and subscribe down below. There will be plenty more adventures just like this and plenty more yard sale adventures. So thanks for all the support. Catch you guys next time. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.